from Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Mikey Show. I love it. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning into the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TALK. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. And I'm putting out the call to those of you who are in a marriage or a relationship, and yet you've got the phone numbers of people you've boned or been boned by in the past. The booty calls, the potential booty calls, the people you've flirted with, the people whose numbers you got at bars and clubs, the ex-wives that you don't have children with and have no reason to be speaking to, you know what I'm talking about. Do you change the names? Do you have them in code? Why do you keep these numbers? I say you keep the numbers because this is a hardcore sign that you have doubts about whatever relationship you're in. This is probably a good clue that you shouldn't be in a relationship right now. If you need to keep the phone numbers of people you've boned or been boned by in the past, you should not be married, you should not be in a relationship, you should not be living with anybody, you should be out boning. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's 1-800-5800-866. Let's go here to John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's going on, Tom? Not this much, is, John. Uh, this is John, a first-time caller, and uh, I've been listening to you just for a little bit now. Okay. Um, basically, I'm calling you to say, like, dude, I think, um, you know, I don't think it's a hardcore sign that you you don't trust your relationship or something like that. It's like, I, you know, I have a hard time trusting anybody in self, so I could be like, I really like her. I could be cool, but I can't. You know what I'm saying? Like, why, know, and like, then why oh, be in a relationship? Why be in a relationship at all? I mean, because look, check this out. Why? Because look, I was going to tell. Um, all right, why? Because look, I'm a young dude. Like, I've been in the military. I've I've been with a lot of chicks. I've uh, had jobs. You know, I worked for MTV a little bit. I've been with a lot, and I get tired of it. So you want to find somebody cool? But you don't trust anybody. So why do it? Why? I mean, all right, look. I do trust people. You just said you don't. I have a heart. All right, I can give somebody the trust. Like I would like to, and I want to. I don't think. It, but I don't you said you can't, and you haven't. Yeah. So if you can't and you haven't, you're not ready to to, to be having relationships. Yeah. But do you think there's somebody that can change that? Like you know, like cause no. Yes. Is that yes? That. Yes. There's somebody who can change. His name is Ja. Yeah. But other people are not going to change you. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And which I think. And I by the be- way, why should anyone trust you? Any woman dating you, you secretly have phone numbers of other women in your phone. But look, look, they can trust me because, like, if I if I'm into somebody, I'm into somebody. I don't even have to call. Uh, I don't even have to call. But look, what if she flips out on me? And then she's totally like, all of a sudden, like, I'm really trusting her. I'm not If you are afraid of that happening, you shouldn't be in a relationship. Well, that's like, I mean, that's like, I mean, man, I mean, I mean, but I would like to get in one. You know what I mean? I want to. I understand that you'd like it, but if you don't trust somebody, you Mm -hmm. shouldn't be doing it. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. I feel you. But for some reason, I do trust her. I'm in, I'm in a relationship right now. But she can't trust you because you secretly have other women's phone numbers in your phone. Yeah. So what should I do? Like I You mean, cannot be trusted. I can't be trusted. No, you can't. Part <laughs> of the reason you don't trust other people is because you can't be trusted. Yeah. 
But I don't want to like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm getting older and I get tired of dealing pal, you're tw- with... Pal, you're, the, uh, you're, like, you're 24 years old. You're not that old. Now, trust me. I've been, man, I've been through a lot. I've been through... Now, I've everybody a says that. Days. Everybody says that. You know what? You have, you're not old. And therefore, you may not just, just not be mature enough or ready for that kind of thing. By the way, yep. um, so, some people will never be ready. I'm 50 years old, and I yeah. don't want to be in a relationship. Yeah, I feel you. You see what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. yes, I've got the phone numbers, and yes, I talk to people. Sure, I do. Yeah. Well, I guess, I mean, yeah. So what do you think I should do? So I should just, like, even though I like her, like, what do I do? I mean, do I, like, do I, all right, this is my question. Do I do I stay with her and try to stay, be faithful, or do I just keep on, you know, you know doing my thing? But if, if you were faithful, you'd delete those phone numbers. Right now? Yeah, if you were, if you intend to be faithful, you would delete them. Oh, if I if I tend to, I should, huh? Yeah, because I'm getting ready. Because like you know, it's so crazy. I'm going through a phase right now. I'm getting rid of my MySpace, though. I'm getting rid of all those well, dating things. I'm getting. I'm, that's the first step. I'm getting rid of that. Well, you got to get rid of that too, but you also have to get rid of those phone numbers. Yeah. All right, man. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm gonna go with you. I'm gonna go with you on this one because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm tired. By the way, I, if you're going with me, I said you shouldn't be in a relationship. But you if you, if you intend, that. if you intend to be in a relationship, uh, the best way to learn to trust someone is to trust, it make yourself trustworthy. Yeah. Okay. For sure, man. Uh, thanks a lot, man. Thanks oh. a lot. Okay. Here to help. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Let's say hello to Raymond on the Tom Likas show. Hey Tom, how's it going? Great. Hey, um, about two days ago, um, I got up to get up to go to work in the morning, and um, I wanted to see how her reaction is because I took her phone from from the bathroom and see how her reaction is going to be when I took it. So I went to work, and I was almost at work, and I I, I called her up and said, "Hey, babe, um, I took your phone. I'm sorry. I you know um, I took the wrong one." Wow, I couldn't see how surprised she was. Like, what do you mean you took my phone? I need my phone. I need my phone right away. It's like, wait a minute, you know, calm down. I go, you know, I'm ready at work. I'm not going to go all the way back home to take it. Oh, I'll meet you halfway. I need that phone. I, I have um, um, pertinent phone calls, and, and I need to call the kids' butt that don't you come. And, I mean, she was like, that phone man, a lot to her. Dude. It was like, man, something's not right. So, I mean, I stick to that, like, something's not right. Something's wrong, you know. Maybe you can give me an idea, Tom, what's going on or what. I've been married for um, 22 years. I think you have an idea of what's going on. You think so? I think you do. You know, it's hard to believe it, you know, because, like I said, 22 years is a long time. And, and I always ask her and stuff, and she's telling me there's nothing going on, there's nothing going on. You know, look at my phone, call me at work. I'm always at work. I'm never doing nothing wrong. I'm not seeing nobody. I'm not screwing nobody, you know. That's why he comes in your mind right away that I'm doing something wrong, you know. Well, I I think you have a pretty good idea that something probably is going on or has gone on there. Well, it's hard to say because, you know, I've been with her for 22 years. And it's hard to say that. Well, that, uh, by the way, all the more reason to think something would be going on because, what, you, were you 18 when you got with her? Yep. Right. And uh, uh, how much experience did she have before she got with you? She never did. That was the first one she That's got with That's my point. These are not... The fact that you've been with her 22 years is not a reason to trust her. It's a reason to think that maybe you shouldn't trust her. You know, and, she, and, and um, you know, she has all kinds of black guys on their MySpace and stuff. I'm like... I don't even have a MySpace, and you have all these guys there. Come on! Oh, they're just friends. They're all from different states. Oh, Raymond, how many, how many, uh, how many hints do you need? By the way, you pay the phone bill for that cell phone. No, she does. Oh, how convenient! Yep. And I go look at my phone. I don't have no calls from anybody. Nobody. Well, nobody calls me. Well, you know, everyone. Well, I just have friends, and you know, they're just. Um, they're, you know, I don't talk to anybody. I don't talk. You know, you can call my job anytime you want. You and I go. There's nobody I'm talking to. There's nobody I'm seeing. You know, when do I have time? I go, there's always time. Well, you understand, Raymond, that what you could do, uh, you know, the cell phone company has a website. And you can create an account for your phone and log on. And uh, you can check uh, who's uh, who, who she's calling or how many minutes she's using on that phone. I, been, I, been, I did that, but she has a, 
she has a code that's under her name. So I, I try to do it, but I couldn't. Well, you're, if you're hey, look, if money from your paycheck is going to pay that bill, you no, have a, you have a right to know what the bill says. Yeah, but she pays the bill. I don't pay the bill. She yeah, pays but it. guess what? Yeah, right. do you have a prenup? Do I have what? Do you have a prenuptial agreement? No, you uh, don't. Do you? No, no. All right. Well, guess what? Uh, your money is her money. Her money is your money. And so you have a right to know what that bill is. Yeah. You have a right to know. And But, you know, like I said, um, it's hard of me to find out anything on the phone because, you know, there's, I don't know if she races it afterward. I don't know. No, no, you're I, not I, hearing me. There, there is a phone bill with phone numbers both received and, and phone calls made. You the, think she's talking to somebody, Tom? Raymond, she had a MySpace account. She insists on paying the phone bill, which she never shows to you. By the way, does that phone, does that phone bill come in the mail? Yeah, it comes in the mail. Do you see it? Yes, I do. Why don't you grab it? You want to see her really panic? Yeah. Grab that phone bill. I, I'm Jesus. I've been together with her so long; it's hard for me to see this. You know what I mean? And well, I understand that, Raymond, but I'm a dispassionate observer. Women who have MySpace accounts with all those friends on there. Yeah. <laughs> come on. She's using that phone to call her friends. But she tells me that they're just friends, and sure, but that's the, Raymond. That's what they always say. Now, I'll tell you one thing you definitely should not do. You definitely should not install a piece of software called SpectreSoft. Uh-huh. This is the one where, you know, if you install it, it's $99 and, and absolutely wrong to be installing it to spy on people. Uh, what happens is then you it, it's like a videotape recorder or say a, like a, a video recorder mm -hmm. for your computer. It shows everything that was on the screen while you were away. Uh-huh. And then... What's wrong with it is you would then know all her passwords, and you would see who she's chatting with, and you would read all her email, and then you would know everything that's going on, which would be, of course, unethical. And then, and the and website. Like, and by the way, uh, if you ever come across the website spectresoft.com, do not log on there and pay the ninety nine dollars and download the software. And I tell her, I go, you don't see me having girls in there. You know, I don't even have. Because I'm going to race them in. I'm just going to take them on. Go, go ahead. Take well, Raymond, uh, do you want to know what's going on? Yes, I really do. Oh, don't install that software tonight or tomorrow night or any other night at spectresoft.com. Don't do that. And I mean, and, you know, I've been having marriage problems with her, and I don't know if I can say it on the on, with you, talk to you about it, but I don't know if you can. What problems have you been having? Well, about a week ago, she told me that she didn't she didn't love me anymore, and it's like, what do you mean you don't love me? Oh, anymore? Raymond, how many hints do you need? And she's like, you know, I can't take it no more because y'all was yelling at me, yelling at the kids, and you know, and I can't take it no more. So, um, <clears throat> I go, but how can you say that to me? She goes, I'm sorry to tell you, I don't love you anymore. She goes, um, you hurt me too much. You hurt me too much. You know, it's like, what do you mean I hurt you too much? Yeah, you always yelling when I come home. You always screaming at the kids. You know, I'm just getting tired of it. So, I I took off. I came back, and she's like, well. I'm going to talk to you. So she talked to me. She goes, you know what? Um, I'm going to give you another chance, but the only thing I'm going to tell you, I'm going to go with my friends to Laughlin. And oh, Raymond. Raymond. Come on. You don't know what's going on here? She says she wants to go with her friends, you know, and, that, and for me. Sure she bad. does. You, go, you want to see a list of her friends? Go to MySpace.com. There's girls from work. There's only two, you know, her girls right. from work. Right. Sure there are. And, you know, so... Well, why don't you just uh, drop in to Laughlin, find out where they're staying, and uh, just pop in. He goes, I'm not going to do nothing wrong. I'm not going to be screwing anybody. I'm not going to be I, I'm not gonna be doing nothing. I'm just going to go and have a good time. Oh, I will. Sure, I believe everything she say. Absolutely. And I told her, well, if you say that you, if you, say that, um, you don't love me, how can we have sex? How can we hold my hand and kiss me if you say that you don't love me anymore? You know, why is that? Maybe she's a nymphomaniac. No, she's not. No, she's not. <laughs> not with you. Maybe, but I don't. She every time she tells her, I'm tired. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm tired. Right. Well, that's that's because she's getting boned by somebody on MySpace. 
You think I'm kidding? One day you'll call me back, Raymond, and you'll tell me I was right. I don't know. It's hard to see it, dude. It's hard to see, you know what I mean? It's just hard to see it. Yeah. <laughs> she told you she doesn't love you. Yeah. She wants to go away without you. She leaps when you take the telephone. Yeah. How many hints do you need? Well, and then she tells me that, oh, she goes, um, by the way, she goes, I want you to, um, she was, she was, okay, we'll, we'll work it out. She goes, but we're going to move this up because there's too much drama in the house. And, and I go, so, so I have to suffer. I have to walk an eight shelf right now to if you give your love back. She goes, well, it's going to take time. You hurt me too much. You hurt me too much. How many hints do you need, Raymond? It's hard for me to walk away from her so many years. Hard well, it wouldn't be hard if you knew what she was doing, would it? And these kids, that's what thats what bothered me, these kids. I understand. Kids. Would it be hard to walk away if you could see her getting boned? Would that uh, change your mind? I probably wouldn't like it, but I, if I see it, I have to walk away. It's going to, you know. Well, pal, it's time for you to do something about this. Kind of scary, you know. To, and I hate to, I hate to ask her because she gets mad right away. There you go again. There you go again. There you I go didn't again. say you should ask her. You're, you're done asking her. You could hire a private investigator for the weekend in Laughlin. That's all you'd really have to do, Raymond. She goes, I, I, you couldn't even trust me. I can, you know, I'm, I'm oh. always, I, you know, you always got to be watch out. Like, you know, you can't even trust me. Twenty two years, you can't even trust me. Yeah, well, because you, you got reason not to trust her. Hang on a second, Chris. What did you want to say to Raymond? I just want to, you know, ask him what the hell is he thinking about, man. Get out, dude. You know what? He, he's a lunatic, man. He's not listening to Tom. Tom is telling this guy, that, you know, not to log onto this website. It's like the stuff is going in one ear and out the other. I just want to tell this guy, dude, you need to get your act together. What the hell? I'm losing my mind over here listening to this guy. Raymond? Mm-hmm. What's your response to that? It's hard for me to get away, away from that relationship. It's hard. You know, I love my wife so much, you know. So many okay. years together. Let me, let me ask you a question, man. What part of I don't love you anymore don't you understand? By the way, he ran away. Uh, he ran away. What can I say? Hopefully he will not log on to Spectresoft.com and won't install that software tonight. Tom Likas. Come on. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. How are you today? Do you care? Yes, I do, because I don't want you to rip me a new one because I don't agree with you on what you say. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. We're talking about the people who keep the phone numbers of the exes, the bone buddies, the booty calls, the ex-girlfriends. Oh, maybe you change the names, you put them in code or something like that, but you keep them. Even though you're married or in love, I'm in love. <laughs> Lynn on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Uh, can you hear me? Why, yes. I need help, Professor. I'm a longtime listener, and uh, you never talk about relationships, but I have a phone book full of ex boyfriends. Why? Because I still have lunch with them. <laughs> and you don't tell your boyfriend. Yes, I do. Why do you feel the need to do that? People that have been in my life that I, you know, have had shared really great experiences with. I, you know, I just, I like to stay in touch with people. And, and you know, I feel like once I've, I've had a person in my life that I've loved and respected once, I don't just dump them for, for nothing. Well, those guys talk to you because they're keeping you in their lives in case uh, they need to uh, do a little boning. Quite possibly. Oh. And does your boyfriend know that? Well, you know, 
Well, I mean, nobody's a moron here. You get, sure. You he know. knows. So your boyfriend knows that guys who want to bone you are having lunch with you. Well, but it's not that simple. I mean, you know, it's up to me. It's up to my morality and my choice. But if that's the reason they're with you, they're not your friends. I've had this conversation on the air so many times. <sighs> okay, no, the reason why who, who, my boyfriend's with me? Well, I, I'm confused. No, <laughs> the reason the guys want to have lunch with you, yeah. the exes, is because they still want to bone you. Well, they, they have relationships, too. Doesn't matter. They still want to bone you. True, and 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 I'm not I'm not blaming any kind of physical uh, urges or anything like that. No boning, but but but. But if they, I, if they're beating you because they want to bone you, and don't kid yourself, they are. Then what's in it for you? Well, you know, staying in touch with staying in touch with somebody who's only years? in touch with you because they want to bone you. Well, what's the problem with that? Well, because it's really not a friendship. As I have said, and I've made this example so many times, if somebody wanted to have lunch with you because you were a billionaire, you wouldn't have lunch with them. You'd say, this is not friendship. You want money from me. I'll right. never give it to you, but this is why you, you want to know me, because I have money. And you would see that very clearly if it was money they wanted. But because they want to have access to your vagina, you are not objective about it. I mean, the fact is that if all they want is to get to see you naked again, it's really not a friendship any more than it would be if they were ha having lunch with you because you had money. I, uh, I, you know, I guess, but, you know, the, the critical thing for me in calling you is, you know, I'm kind of on the rocks with my boyfriend, and I'm thinking... Is it because I keep one foot out the door? I'm sure that that is part of it. And that's why you have lunch with these guys. It's not just because of what you shared in the past. It's because you might share something in the future. Well, eh, I don't know. <clears throat> yes. Well, I think that once the souffle has fallen, it never rises again. Oh. So I'm not, I don't look at my... I don't Darling, look at that's, that that's not... If you're having lunch with these guys, trust me. <laughs> That's why. If you would let your relationship collapse because of it, that's why. Yeah, and this isn't why it's collapsing. I just, I'm... Darling, you know, I'm, hey, darling, he may not know how to verbalize it. He clearly is trying to keep a stiff upper lip and say it's not a problem. Go ahead and have fun. Trust me, guys hate what you're doing. Yeah. So he wants to appear to be the big man, and he's going to say it's okay, but clearly... Something's bothering him. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to believe that that would be it. By the same token, do you deny that you would ever have sex with any of these guys ever again? Ever? 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 Oh, not while I'm in a relationship with somebody. Ah, but you would at some point in the future, and that's why you keep having lunch with them. Well, I might have sex with anybody in the future. No, you just <laughs> said you, 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 you just said, but you see, you just said something to me that you yourself didn't believe. So, well, I don't believe the souffle rises again once it falls. G guess what? Yes, it does. Well, I just mean the romantic relationship. We're like not talking relationship about romance here. We're, romance here. We're talking about bone Right. Okay. Yeah. These are guys who you would let bone you again under the right circumstances. So you're keeping all your uh, relationships, uh, you know, active. In case you need to be bald. Mm, yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. And you just admitted having one foot out of the relationship. You just admitted it. Well, I, you know, I, I, I'm trying to figure out whether I'm to restore this relationship or not. Darling, and... you've got one. You do have one foot out the door. Oh, hell. I don't know. I, I don't think it's because of the numbers, though. Right? I, dear, I'm not saying it's the reason. I'm saying it's a symptom. Yeah. It is a symptom that you don't have confidence in your relationship. Yeah, I, I, I guess, you know. I mean, we live together, but we don't commingle any funds. We don't, we don't do things that... Like, I, I have no urge to ever be married again. We've both been married. Why ever be married again? Well, but why live with someone? Well, to, to cohabitate. To why? Have what for? But, dear, you can have companions. Your person doesn't have to have the key to your front door. 
You have you have, who's your best friend? Does she live with you? No, but he's but, but, but do you her. have do you have do you have companionship with your best friend? Sure. Yeah, but she doesn't live at your house, does she? No. Right. So you don't need to live with him to have companionship, do you? Well, it's nice to have somebody to go to sleep with at night. You know? but, but it's but nice. But you, dear, you could sleep with him without him living at your place. Well, we did that for a while. Well, I, I don't know. I guess moving in kind of killed it. And you still insist on having having lunch with these guys who boned you in the past. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, one thing I learned through my years of relationships, I'm not going to be quiet about that. I tried being quiet about that stuff at one time. I tried doing what your boyfriend does. Oh, no, go out and have fun. No, I trust you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't do that anymore. I tell women, if you need to have lunch with guys who've boned you in the past... Then you don't need to be with me, and I'm not going to tell you what to do. So if that's who you are as a person, we're done. Right. That, that's fair. And he yeah. should do that because that would force you to make a decision. Oh yeah, he's never he's never asked me to not do it. And by the way, I think you would react positively. You would love to see him put his foot down and be a man and step up to the plate and tell you he doesn't like this. Because he does it, you keep doing it. You know, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't stand for it. <laughs> you wouldn't stand for him telling you he doesn't want that anymore. I, I wouldn't want to be told that. I... Then we lost you. That's a shame. I still believe what I said is true. Tom, Tom, Tom. Really, Tom Likas. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. I wish I had you years ago. You would have saved me a lot of grief. That's what many women say. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show on 1-800-5-800-TOM. Why do you keep the telephone numbers of people of your past? You're in a relationship. You're married. You're happy. You're in love. You're in love. You're in love. Oh, it's the love that will outlast all other loves. Oh, yes, this is the one, this is the person, this is the person who's going to last forever and ever, and the two of you are going to walk happily, happily into the happy ever after. That's right. You guys, you're in love. But yet, in your cell phone, you've got the phone numbers of everybody you've boned or who has boned you. What's that all about? 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Victor on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. I was just calling to uh, give my answer to your question uh, about why keep the numbers of the people you've been in relationships before. And, Not necessarily uh, relationships. I mean, well, you know, it could be yeah. relationships, could be anything. Yeah, ex-wives or booty calls or whoever. Right. Um, well, I've had a few relationships before, and I still have uh, the, some of those numbers of the women that I was with. But why? I never... Well, the thing is, I don't, I would never, first let me say that I would never go back to a relationship once it's ended because there's obviously a reason that it ended. But I also don't see a point in uh, burning bridges, you know, in uh, just getting rid of the numbers when it doesn't do any harm to keep them. And uh, you never know why you might need that person's number later on in life. Yeah, actually you do. You, there's a reason you should get rid of them? Well, yeah, yeah. Put it this way: if you if you need to be in a relationship, then you don't need those numbers. Yeah. Well, that part, yeah. I mean, I myself, I don't like to be in relationships. I like to be by myself. So when I break up with someone, and I don't get rid of that person's number, so that I don't, you know, it stops me from calling them and getting back into a relationship because I already know, I. I'm not going to do that, but I understand that most, you know, in my experience, most people don't have that discipline. They would, I, I was just thinking about that, listening to your last caller, that, yeah, most people do need to get rid of those numbers because they will make the same mistake again with the same person. Well, you, when you keep the numbers, it's a sign that you don't have confidence in your current relationship. Yeah. Well, my, my answer was more from when you're single, you know, you keep you keep the numbers while you're single. But as far as being in a relationship, as far as the secret of keeping them secret from 
uh, your you know husband or wife or whomever uh, that uh, that just seems pathetic to me because I myself if I I have my ex girlfriend's or wife's phone number and if a question is raised by someone I was going out with and they said oh why do you do you have their number I would answer yes and if they asked me I would be honest with them now if they don't like that you know this is who I am I never claim to be right so if you don't like that we can part you can what we can you know go our separate ways oh part like, yeah I thought you said bark no I think the phone cut out all right very good thank you appreciate the call <laughs> 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Sergio on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Father. How are you? Doing okay, son. Oh, good to hear that. No, you know what, Tom? Yes, we do keep those numbers. Everybody does. I don't care who lies about it. They all keep those numbers in their phone. They put them under different names. They answer them. Up, and, and, you know, sometimes we have to walk away to answer them. But then if, if if you need to live that kind of life, why be in a relationship? No, you know what? That's a good point, Tom. It's a very good point. And you know what? I'm not going to even lie. I'm married. I am. I have been very unhappily married for the last seven months. I am, a, I am separated. But I'll tell you one thing. My estranged wife is the best booty call I've ever had. <laughs> You're estranged wife. So now what? Do you have a relationship with someone else? No, I'm just separated. And I'm doing my thing. And I'm doing what I got to do. So why aren't you divorced? Well, stupid reasons. My own reasons. My own dumb reasons. I'm afraid. I'm afraid that the money's going to be more, you know. It's, it's going to be a lot of trouble to get divorced. Eventually that might happen. But I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to try to see where it goes. But I, I'm not one of those idiots that say, like those last callers that call up about cheap, cheaper to keep her. That's retarded. It is retarded. It is. It's one of the most retarded things. I think it's just a cop out. You're big. You know, they're they're nothing but pussies. That's all it is. It's nothing but pussies if, if you say it's cheaper to keep her. Well, I agree with you on that. But uh, why people want to? This is what I don't understand. These people want to live. By the way, I've done it, and I understand it. I don't want to do it anymore. I have done this. I have been in marriages or relationships where I have to sneak out of the room to call people or sneak out of the room to send a message or, uh, you know, sneak out of the room to, uh, are you kidding? I've been at sporting events where I had to sneak away from one person in one section to go see somebody in another section. Who wants to live like that? I, I'm done with that. I'm done. I'm so done with that. Jesus. And I don't understand why anyone else is doing it. Mark on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, hey, Dad. I got a problem. Yes, son. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see where I start. Um, I've been in a relationship for four years. Uh, we, of course, have screwed up. I had a, I had a kid, <laughs> and that was about a, almost a year ago. And she left to go to Oregon, and we've been doing like a long distance relationship kind of thing for the past year. And now she's giving me the ultimatum to either I move up there, quit my job, and do every do all that, and go up there and work it, try to work it out with her, or stay here and she goes on. What do I do, <laughs> uh, pal? I, you know what I say to ultimatums, or as the correct term, ultimata? Yeah. No. <laughs> no, that's what I say. No, you give me an ultimatum. The decision's been made. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I've been thinking too. But I'm thinking about the kid at the same time. Like I, I want to watch him grow up and everything. I just you can you can live in the neighborhood. Well, I didn't have to quit my job, which I've been working as a foreman right now at a finished carpentry shop, and she still has no job and living with your mom up there. Well, <laughs> that's that uh, pretty much explain it all, right? <laughs> well, yes, yes. And let me guess, you knocked her up before you were in a relationship, and so that's how the relationship began, right? No, actually, we were in the relationship for two years. She supposedly forgot to take her birth control. Supposedly, yeah. And, of course, you forgot to use yours. <laughs> now, how many guys do you hear call this show who are just like you? Uh, quite a bit. <laughs> right. That's right. 
Are you starting to get the message here, Mark? Yeah, I'm getting the message. I just started listening to you for the past five months now, and I'm, mm-hmm. I wish I'd listened to you earlier. But So you think I should just keep on with my job and become successful? Of course. And then just obviously I got the child support thing, too. It's just I, Well, you're I, paying it now. Never yeah. forget, you're paying to support that child right now. Yeah. The difference is you can't go out and get laid, and you can't. Uh, you don't have the same freedom with your career and freedom with your life that you would have if you were alone. Well, no, she's in another state. I'm, I'm in uh, California. I understand that. But you don't want to be in a relationship like that. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking, too. I mean, she ended up leaving because of uh, just stupid-ass reasons, and that's just dumb. You sound sad. Well, of course. I mean, it's my family. Well, my son, I want to watch him grow up and everything. She moved up there and I was with her mom and still has no job. She did the esthetician school thing. Of course, I was paying for the rent while she was doing that. Of course you were. Yeah. And then now she's up there and still has no job and now wants to go to school to become a nurse. Right. Which she'll get bored within a year. Then she'll want to go to beautician school or, you know. By the way, for women, beautician school is the last refuge of a scoundrel. Yeah. That's where they go when they can't think of anything else to do. And basically, she just sucked onto me like a leech. That's right. Uh, so what should I do about the kid? I mean, I want to I see him grow up and everything. I wanna... well, first of all, you shouldn't have had a kid. Let's start with that. Oh, well, yeah. Of course I shouldn't have, but since I already have. Well, but since you already have, there? what can you do? I mean, the, she's where she is. What, do you want to move up there? Well, then I'd have to quit my job, which I've had. Right. I've known her. You know, the decision was made for you, Mark, and that's the way the laws work, and you should have thought of that before you had a kid. Yeah, I should have. But you didn't, and so you have to make the best of it. The way you make the best of it is you know, try to improve your own life. Just become successful and make a lot of money like you, I guess. That would be a good idea. Yeah, and then I can shove it in your face. <laughs> that would be a good idea. By the way, when you got money, you got plenty of things being shoved in your face. Stuff you might like. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, Mark on the Tom Likas show. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey, Tom. First of all, you're the man. You know that. You get it all the time. Yes, I uh, do. I actually just got my mom hooked on you the other day. She, uh, I, we were listening to your rant about uh, oh, is it Butterfaces? Yes. And, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so. My situation, this is, you know, as of a few days ago, uh, me and this girl, I've been single for five years, uh, first of all. And, uh, you know, I started, you know, just kind of seeing this girl. We decided to make, an ex- make it exclusive. We were having a lot of fun. We got, a- got along together. And uh, just, you know, exactly like, you know, just typical chick. You know, I had other girls that would call me and stuff like that, but... Uh, and you're 21. Other girls should be calling you. Exactly. No, 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 no. I know. And... That's you know, that's basically what I told her in the very beginning. Is like I can't, I'm not gonna be able to go through this if it's, we're gonna play the whole jealousy thing the entire time. And that's exactly. I mean, like. Uh, Gotta watch all, your mouth, Mark. You're on the air. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. Sorry, I'm a potty mouth. So I apologize. So, um, you know, I'm in the band. She she said that she would be all right with the whole jealousy thing because that's just someone goes along. You know, I go out of town, go with shows, and she's just gonna assume groupies are all over me. But you know. She said she'd be cool with the whole jealousy thing, and basically just, you know, two days ago, she just could she wouldn't give it up, so we broke up, and, you know, single again. Probably not probably not going to go back to having a relationship anytime soon. Good idea, Mark. Good move. Thank you for the call. Our email address, it's my name, it's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. It's Tom at... BlowMeUpTom.com. If you want to hear our show stream live anytime, go to our website. It's BlowMeUpTom.com. Click on the Listen Live button on the upper right-hand corner of the homepage. And if you do it between 3 and 8 p.m. Pacific time, you'll be listening live. BlowMeUpTom.com. It's the Tom Likas Show.